Good Monday morning, friends. 816, and we are keeping a very close eye on the tropics all the way from the upper Texas coast to the Florida panhandle. We'll need to watch the progression of tropical storm Delta as the days go on. It is forecast to move into the Gulf of Mexico sometime late Tuesday or into Wednesday. Could even see it become a hurricane before it moves into the Gulf of Mexico. It is starting to intensify as of this morning, so we are going to have to watch the progression of this system very, very carefully. Forecast to possibly make landfall somewhere along the coast of Louisiana on Friday morning, possibly during the day Friday, and potentially as a Cat 2 hurricane. So it may intensify a little stronger than a Cat 2. So this is something we're going to have to watch, again, very, very carefully and prepare for potentially a landfalling hurricane later this week. Again, could start to see impacts Thursday lasting through Saturday. Of course, it's all dependent on where it, it tracks toward uh, for our uh, magnitude of impacts. As of right now, the Weather Prediction Center is saying our area could see two to four inches of rain over the next seven days. But if it tracks more to the west, our rainfall totals could go up. Now, if it moves more to the east, they would go down. So again, this is something we're going to have to watch. So looking at the European model, it does show a landfalling hurricane on Friday morning along the coast coast of Louisiana. Same for the GFS model, but I am expecting this to change in the coming days. We're going to see the windshield wiper effect where it moves more to the west, moves more to the east. Again, this is going to likely happen. It has it making landfall right around the same time Friday. This is the GFS model along the coast of Louisiana. But again, this could certainly change. So what we know as of right now, it's looking likely that we will have a landfalling hurricane, possibly a Cat 2 or greater uh, somewhere along the northern Gulf Coast. That, again, could happen on Friday, and impacts could be Thursday through Saturday. Of course, the timing, intensity, the track, all are subject to change and will likely change in the coming days. So prepare and plan now while the weather's quiet and check back in with us frequently. We'll have another track from the National Hurricane Center at 10 o'clock this morning. Also, Tropical Storm Gamma, this is really, really not holding itself together. It's getting destroyed by some wind shear and dry air, this is likely going to get absorbed by Delta. So it will be the weaker of the system and it may get completely absorbed. Hopefully that's the case rather than it just getting pulled to the north. But if that changes, we'll let you know. This morning, again, it's bright, sunny, 60 degrees, going to be a gorgeous day, 50s, 60s this morning. We're going to warm up. We have drier air in place thanks to a passing cold front. It's not very strong, but it is bringing that reinforcing shock of dry air north winds means we're going to have a drier air mass in place. So the comfortable conditions will continue through at least Tuesday and then Wednesday we may start to see winds pick up out of the south. Again, all depending on what happens in the tropics. So walking you through the future cast today, we'll see wall-to-wall -wall sunshine. Tuesday we'll likely start to see clouds increase and then we could see a few passing showers. As for Wednesday, rain chances will begin to increase, but as of right now, we're going with a 20% chance chance for rain. Again, this is all subject to change, all depending on what happens with Delta, but rain chances will likely be the highest on Friday. But again, that's subject to change. So weather headlines, quiet stretch of weather, uh, late week weather is going to be dependent on what happens with Delta. And then we are looking at the potential for a cold front next week. It's too bad it's not earlier. That would keep the system away. So, again, uh, that's not going to be the case. But next week, we could have another cold front. 82 degrees, and then tonight, temperatures will fall into the 50s, 60s, closer to the coast. Mid and upper 80s on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Again, possible delta impacts with rain chances being the highest on Friday. Windy conditions, and then into the weekend, second half of the weekend, we start to dry out. Let's get a quick check on the traffic situation again this morning.